गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इज नवंबर 11 सैटरडे 2017 एंड आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग यू द न्यूज पेपर एनालिसिस ऑफ द न्यूज द हिंदू इन द फ्रंट न्यूज विद सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज इज एंड फ्लैश दैट इज द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया मिश्रा दीपक मिश्रा एसर्ट हिमसेल्प इन सुप्रीम कोर्ट एमिस्ट करप्शन स्टॉल This news, as I have told you yesterday, also this news uh, one point is important here. That is the Nemo Jodex Kaja Shiva, the principle of jurisprudence, the natural principle of justice, about which I have discussed in the study class. It is still revolves around that concept only. That here the corruption charges are there, and nobody can be judge in his own court. The Chief Justice of India, Deepak Mishra, is asserting himself. he is telling that there cannot be any kind of the command directing the chief justice of india to constitute a bench that authority is with the chief justice of india's domain so this aspect and this uh, this one prashant bhushan the pleader the advocate he is pleading that your lordship can pass an order without hearing me you can you have heard persons who are not parties to the case he is talking about the second principle of the natural justice audi ultum partum means let the other parties to be heard also let the other party to be heard also because we we have to hear the other side also then only we can give the judgment so this is based on that principle the second news is that gst slashed 178 items ahead of gujarat election anyhow we have not to go in the elections uh, matter but yes related to gst the point is important that they can ask the questions related to gst so what are the points important that is the gst council question can revolve around it that gst council Uh, what is its role it has to take a call on rates exemption list and threshold limit that what should be the threshold limit like to in the today news that what are the important points that only 50 items and uh, like the luxury goods are also that which will remain in the 28% bracket zones 28% bracket zones some items will remain some of the items has brought down to 18% item list and these are the important items like the shampoo after shave items etc deodorants etc so in con- considering this uh, gst council has taken the call on the rates and exemption list and the threshold limit for it this the same question can be asked that uh, what are its composition definitely union finance minister he is the chairman that is important point my dear students please make a note last time also the similar type of the question has been asked that who is the chairman and who are the members so this is the union finance minister is the chairman and the besides the member states that is the finance minister of or the taxation minister of the states the finance minister or taxation minister of the states or any state representative who has been nominated by the states regarding the voting right that can be asked that in voting rights that one third of the vote total vote cast goes in favor of the center and two third are being uh, utilized being uh, i mean franchised by the states and depending whether the state is a small or big they are having they, they all have the representation so what how upsc asked questions that they will give the wrong statement that big states gives uh, more representation true or false like that the three statements are given so my dear sir when you are uh, studying any topic go much in detail of that one because in depth analysis is very much required because the upsc at least 25% of the questions are from the statement type which statement is correct or which statement is not correct the three statements are given there last year it was only between the two but now they can raise the level between the three or four also just to eliminate because pt is elimination so for the to guard against the elimination this is very much required the third item which uh, which draws my attention that the sc refuses to stay padmavati release case padmavati the historical figures or the demi historical figures from the current affair aspect it is written that supreme court refuses to stay padmavati release 
बट येस फ्रॉम द हिस्टोरिकल परस्पेक्टिव द क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ड इन डायरेक्टली नॉट डायरेक्टली देन दिस इज एन एटीन सेंचुरी पेंटिंग इट इज द मिनियचर पेंटिंग ऑफ द रानी पदमावती रानी पदमावती वॉज ऑफ थर्टीन सेंचुरी थर्टीन फोर्टीन सेंचुरी थर्टीन फोर्टीन सेंचुरी कैरेक्टर ऑफ कैरेक्टर फोर्टीन सेंचुरी अराउंड character and this was their the queen she was the queen of mewar she was the wife of ratan sen ratan sen was ha- happened to be the prince of mewar and regarding the job in context of johar it is important there are different stories related to the padmavati ratan sen then the present condition at that time the extant conditions of the area or the polity at that time alauddin khilji Alauddin Khilji. So you have to understand that what was the condition at at the Sultanate period. Alauddin Khilji. This is the thirteenth, fourteenth century scene is there. This is also important that lot of literature has been written on Rani Padmavati and there are so many sources available. One important source is the Malik Muhammad Jaisi. Malik Muhammad Jaisi. Jaisi he has written Padmavat. Padmavat in 15th century he has written Padmavat and this is known as the classic literature on in the Hindi and the active bhakti movement time so here the Padmavat Jayashi is the same person on which name there is a place Jayash near to Lucknow and the Raibareli there is one allowed this one the and as she was the queen of Mewar so the, the, the strategic location of the Mewar that that is also one of the important point and definitely the traditions of the poem that the malik mohammed jaisi he was in the not 15th it was the 1540 rather around 15th, 16th century poet was he was he so it was written 15th century so there are the different stories revolving around the rani padmavati so here the mewar then is the earliest record of this one comes to the amir khusro Regarding Amir Khusro, we have read a lot about him in the culture and cultural heritage. That the sitar and the tabla, these two are considered of the creations of the Amir Khusro only. That his record goes to the 1303, and we know that he was the most favorite disciples of the Khwaja Nazimuddin. And Khwaja Nazimuddin at the Darga of the Khwaja Nazimuddin, you are finding uh, the this one. the mausoleum of the amir khusro just in front of that so we have seen all these aspects in the culture so this is important from that aspect the amir khusro who has written a book that is the khwajul fatah khwajul fatah is the means the amir this one alauddin khilji has made the annexation of the chitor and he got control over it and there was a jawhar to khwa this one the khajanul fatah khajanul sorry khajanul fatah f u t u h by amir khusro in 1303 and the concept of the jawhar so from that aspect the front news are important you have to see my dear students the sultanat period again from the medieval india because you will get a lot of cultural traditions from there like the sufi will be, you will try to understand the sufi concepts from there the bhakti kal movements also will be coming from that time only so these all aspects you have to get clear and you have to link this class with the medieval india on page 7 i am finding that this news that the center approved creation of national testing agency my dear students please write it down the word national testing agency and it is very important because it is going to change the pattern of examination especially for the engineering exam entrance examination or the any it is national entrance eligibility test for the medicals they are telling that the union cabinet has approved the creation of national testing agency nta national testing agency nta and uh, to conduct entrance examination for higher educational institutions its creation will uh, relieve the central board of secondary education cbse cbse which conducts exams like national eligibility come entrance test and all india council for technical education aicte about which you have written a write up good write up earlier also aicte Uh, and thus the burden of conducting examination will be relieved because it will be through the online system 
The union cabinet has chaired by the prime minister Sri Narendra Modi. Always the cabinet meeting is chaired by the prime minister only because it is the cabinet meeting. So approve the creation of national testing agency as a society registered under Indian Society Registration Act. It is an Indian Society Registration Act. UPSC is very prompt that under which act it has been registered. Indian Society Registration Act. So write it down this one because the correct statement, not not correct statement. This is important. Indian Society Registration Act. They will ask that it is a semi-autonomous body or it is autonomous body. It is government body. No, it is registered under the Indian Society Registration Act. This national, uh, this one testing agency. And this National Society Registration Act, it is a very old act, the, just uh, at the same time when this IPC came in picture, that is 1860. And it is an autonomous and self-sustained premier testing organization to conduct entrance tests for the higher educational institutions. So this NTA will begin conducting exam managed by the CBSC and gradually conduct other examinations also. The entrance examination will be conducted in online mode at least twice in a year, thereby giving adequate opportunity to the candidates to bring about the, to bring about the best out of their attempts. And in order to serve the requirements of the rural students, it would locate the centers at the sub-district level also, at suppose at the Tashi level also, as far as possible, would undertake hands-on training to the students. So the end what is the what about its composition that national testing agency that the name agency is there society registration will be chaired by the eminent educationist appointed by the ministry of hrd so educationist will be appointed as its chairman educationist openly by the hrd and there will be a board of governors comprising member from the user institutions Presently, government has given the 25 crore rupees that is not so important, but subsequently it will be a self-sustaining unit only. So, my dear students, please make a write-up on the National Testing Agency in 100 words. That is the homework for you. So, Padmavati, you have to link it with the Sultanate period. Then, Nemo Judas Kajasuwa, yesterday you have written. Today is the Audi Altum Partum and the GST Council Composition. These four homework I have given you just now. On the editorial, the slippery while rally that is important uh, editorial today, study there was no important editorial. This is related to American shale producers are likely to contain any sustained rally in global oil prices. So two aspects are important that is the shale gas of USA and shale gas of USA is countering the price rise of the crude petroleum that is important that aspect we have seen in the geography so my dear sir please go on the geography in geography section we are having that one chapter that is the energy and in the energy we are having the all type of the coal bed methane shale gas etc at one place please go on that one and you have to come about some of the technologies being used you know that america is having dominance over the shale gas shale gas in the shale gas that is that the, the cultivation of guar gum that will also be important what is the purpose of guar gum in the shale gas extraction and the fraction technology that is important here the economical economic aspects has been discussed that slippery while rally the name is the slippery while uh, rally here we have seen that the opec country regarding the opec country it is very important which are the opec country please make a write up on that one there are uh, algeria angola ecuador iran iraq kuwait libya nigeria qatar saudi arabia united arab emirates and venezuela these are the 12 again i am writing it down that these are the algeria algeria you have to see on the map where is the algeria what is the location of angola what is the location of ecuador ecuador is in the Ecuador is in the South America region, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Libya, Nigeria, Qatar, it is alphabetical, no? Qatar, Qatar, then there is Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, then there is United Arab Emirates, Venezuela, 
दीज आर दी ट्वेल्व नेशन ऑफ दिच आर दी ओपेक कंट्री आर सच माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू रिक्वायर टू मेक ए राइट अप ऑन दी ओपेक कंट्रीज इन हंड्रेड वर्ड्स आई एम टेलिंग यू इन द ब्रीफ दैट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ पोट्रेलियम एक्सपोर्टिंग कंट्रीज यू पी एस सी में आज के क्वेश्चन दैट विच वन इज द लेटेस्ट इंट्री इन द ओपेक कंट्री लाइक देर इन मे टू थाउजेंड सेवन वी आर फाइंडिंग दैट वन कंट्री हैज गॉट इट्स इंट्री इन दिस ओपेक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओपेक कंट्रीज दिस इज द इक्वेटोरियल गिनिया इक्वेटोरियल गिनिया गिनिया द लोकेशन इज इन द वेस्टर्न अफ्रीका एंड द पॉपुलेशन इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट It is only twelve lakh or populations are there, but proven reserves are much more, much more. Not that big. Means it is just in comparison to the big country like the Iran, etc. It is just one hundred only. But yes, it has got its entry. First point. If you understand from the statistical point of view, we are finding that out of the world total uh, oil production. 44 percent of the population uh, production, sorry, production are coming from the OPEC countries. 44 percent of the oil production is coming from the OPEC country. But if we see the reserves, the the known declared source of the reserves, I am telling, the, some some country may have got some hidden reserves and not trapped also. That is 73 percent of the oil uh, producing reserves are there with the OPEC country only. Oil proven reserves are there. Those those which are known to us. So this is this is having a major uh, say in the oil pr pr production as well as it controlling the price also. So this is important aspect. Uh, it is an intergovernmental organization that can be asked in UPSC. At present, there are the fourteen countries are there, and it is an not an uh, inter intergovernmental organizations. In inter Earlier it was formed in 1960 and it was founded in Baghdad with the first five founder countries these are the Iran Iraq Kuwait Saudi Arabia and Venezuela so you are just finding that Venezuela was only out of the scene from the all four are the neighboring Iran Iraq Kuwait Saudi Arabia and Venezuela that is also important that yes and the headquarter was there but later on it was shifted to Vienna So this has got the maximum uh, proven oil reserves, uh, and it controls the global prices. Uh, so now UPSC can confuse you that yes, it was it is a multinational oil company. Earlier it was, but now it is the intergovernmental organization. This is one important aspect. That's why I have given that in this article. You will miss this point. So from here the questions are likely to come. Economists cite this OPEC as a textbook example of the cartel formation, means unethical practice because you are controlling the price in a arbitrary manner. So that's why, but the, with the shale gas, the competition has come, and that has controlled the price. That is the main theme of the article. If you go to with this background, then the article will be very much clear to you. Regarding record turnout, that in the election, the election commission is performing quite well. That in the Himachal Pradesh. Uh, record margin that is 74.6 percent of the electorates casted their votes. That that is a robust voter participation. Robust voter participation. As such, also Himachal Pradesh has been ranked second in the Human Development Index. Second in India. We are knowing that Tamil Nadu and the Kerala example. We know very well that Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and Himachal Pradesh. In Amrita Sen book, our uncertain glory. We are having all these aspects that how human development index and how much, uh, how Himachal Pradesh has come out. This article, the turmoil in the Brexit club, written by the Vidya Ram, a very good article giving an insight about the Brexit. Brexit that is giving one insight about the European Union. Though it is not that important, but yes, you should have a foundation, and from that perspective, it is important that the European Union has agreed to commence discussions within the remaining 27 nations, as England has come out of it, and this lady has been champion for the India cause also, Indian cause also. That's why we are having some importance, relevance to this news. But as such, not that important. But yes, writing is very good, very coherent writing. You should go through it once. 
हो फ्लोट्स ऑन ए बोट रिगार्डिंग द रोहिंग्याज प्रॉब्लम मच हैज बीन रिटर्न बाय यू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड यू ऑल आर वेरी मच क्लियर बट यस वन थिंग आई एम ओनली आस्ट दैट रिगार्डिंग नाफ रिवर द लोकेशन ऑफ नाफ रिवर बिकम्स इम्पॉर्टेंट हेयर सो दिस एस्पेक्ट ओनली दैट फ्रॉम द जोग्राफिकल एस्पेक्ट आई एम गिविंग दैट एन ए एफ नाफ रिवर्स दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इज इट्स लोकेशन कॉक्स बाजार इज इन बांग्लादेश कॉक्स बाजार कॉक्स बाजार दिशवन नोआखली ऑल दिज रीजन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो दैट प्लेस यू शुड मार्केट दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूज दैट इंडिया टू फेस यू के इन इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस इलेक्शंस दैट दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो ए गुड न्यूज फॉर मी बिकॉज फर्स्ट टाइम आई केम टू नो फ्रॉम दिस न्यूज ओनली दैट हाउ द पीपल आर गेटिंग देयर नॉमिनेशंस एंड एज वेल एज द आई मीन स्टेटस एज ए मेम्बरशिप ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ द जस्टिस एज ए जज so this is news this news is important that united nations general assembly also united nations security council also at the both the places the voting counts so this is important for the speedy examination point of view because this news will fetch some more i mean hangover in at the time of the examination and you will forget so write it down that icj election process icj international court of justice election process that is important for you From the world economy point of view, that globalization is irreversible. Xi Jinping is telling, and he defends that yes, it is, should be good for the poorer nations. It's very important from the international relations point of view. In Lahore, also smog is there. That is important. Here, one point is, is written here in Lahore that it is alarm level 1077 microgram uh, of uh, P 2.5 per cubic meter. So this is important. This there are this place it is written here. So this is one important aspect related to the havoc of the air pollution in Lahore. This news again draw my attention that we manufacturing drags. Index of industrial production growth to 3.8 percent drags. Index of industrial production here in this news one you should have this concept very much clear that what is index of industrial production. This news is telling that the industrial production grew at a slower pace of 3.8 percent in September, mainly due to sudden uh, subdued performance of the manufacturing sector. What is the index of industrial production? This index of industrial production is an index uh, which details out the growth of various sectors in an economy, such as mineral, mineral, that is the mining, electricity. manufacturing manufacturing etc the all india index of industrial production is a composite indicator that measures the short term change in the volume of production of a basket of industrial products during a given period with respect to that chosen base period suppose if chosen base period is there 2011 or 2012 is there then with that comparison how much is the basket It is compiled and published monthly by the Central Statistical Organization six weeks after the reference month ends. So this is the index of industrial production. The reference point is the some reference year, like we are choosing in the GDP calculation also. That is the variable calculations. The level of the index of industrial production is an abstract number, the magnitude of which represent the status of production of the industrial sector for a given period of time. as compared to reference period of time the reference period of time has is now at present is the 2011 2012 and the base uh, and it has assigned to the index level of 100 and in comparison to that we are finding how much is there so this is the index of industrial production so my dear students now i am finding that uh, the new paper analysis is over but yes you have to write down whatever the homework i has given to you because if you are daily not accumulating this knowledge and linked it link it with your static portion of the syllabus of the civil services the chances of missing the 10 to 15 questions with very high in your pt examination so dear students this new paper analysis is very much important for your preparation of the civil services thank